ਦੱਖਣੀ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਸੰਸਦ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੀਤੇ ਦਿਨੀ ਅੱਗ ਲੱਗ ਗਈ ਜਿਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਦਫ਼ਤਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਅੱਗ ਫੈਲ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰੀ ਵਿਧਾਨ ਸਭਾ ਦੀ ਇਮਾਰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਝ ਛੱਤਾਂ ਢਹਿ ਗਈਆਂ ਘਟਨਾ ਸਥਾਨ ਦਾ ਦੌਰਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਦੱਖਣੀ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਸਿਰ ਰਾਮਾਫੋਸਾ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅੱਗ ਦੇ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਗ੍ਰਿਫਤਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਅਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪੁੱਛਗਿੱਛ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਲੋਕਤੰਤਰ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਦੁਖਦਾਈ ਦਿਨ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸੰਸਦ ਸਾਡੇ ਲੋਕਤੰਤਰ ਦਾ ਘਰ ਹੈ This is a very sad day for our democracy because parliament is the home of our democracy and parliament is also a strategic a key point all matters will be investigated the police have started to investigate the forensic department is here public works is here we all together the uh, roof of the building has collapsed on the one side and the fire is spread to the the new assembly according to the officers they've detected large cracks in the wall which is of concern um and uh, we have also some of the specialist appliances such as the bronto lift and so on scene to be able to get water further to the back the firefighters report that they were on scene for some time before the fire detection system first triggered and then sounded the alert so it does appear that that system was somewhat delayed well this is devastating news it's a terrible and devastating event and to wake up to the devastating news of the burning down of uh, the national assembly or parliament uh is is just really a terrible setback to what we were basking in yesterday the uh, arch would have been devastated as well because uh, this is a place that he not only supported prayed for and wanted to see us the repository of the democracy that he worked so hard for but notwithstanding the damage that has been caused to the national assembly the work of parliament will carry on it does seem like the sprinkler system did not work as it was supposed to but their appearance and their coming here has saved a very important national asset of our government this is a national key asset and of course we are still going to go into what caused the fire and the fire having started in the old assembly how it then moved to the national assembly is something that will still be investigated i believe somebody <coughs> is being held right now and they are being questioned but we need to go a lot deeper a lot deeper uh into how this type of event can take place and what measures we will need to take going forward but for now i think we should be grateful that the national assembly parliament has not been raised to ashes and to the floor 